Hey, yeah, welcome to Chaotic Reunion. I'm Javier once again, and here we are back in the Drunk Witcher Enhanced Edition Drunkness. It's such great drunkenness. Okay. In the last episode, we killed some weeds and almost got cheated by a rich fat dude. Now we're going to see a dog. What are you barking at, buddy? I'm going to take my sword out because I move faster. Eh, enough with me being silly. Let's go ahead and see what he's up. I flipped over the dog. It was an accident. What's he, what are you barking at, buddy? No, seriously. Oh. That would be what you're barking at. Oh, okay. There's Bargus. Group style is my friend. Boom, boom. These guys will go back down quickly, though. They're, they can dodge group style a lot easier than apparently they can dodge quick style. So I probably could just quick style them all. Like that. Awesome. We did it. Okay. That took, uh, that was pretty easy. I look more Bargus skulls. I wonder if I can keep giving those to Abigail. Are they worth anything? Bargus skulls. Are you, uh, where are the skulls? Skull, skull, skulls. There we are. Well, he will... Some merchants will gladly purchase it. So probably I could sell them to Abigail. Because she is a merchant. And, uh, you have ectoplasm. Neat. Alright, so in this episode, what I want to do is I want to go take care of the Eternal Fire quest. I want to go take care of the Drowners. Since we now have the ability to be drunk still. And, uh, probably help the merchant dude, Heron. Probably, because that's around the area where the drowners are. So, let's start with the Eternal Fire. Where am I sitting? Um, so, essentially, to do this effectively, I would have to go all the way. So, let's, let's start at the top one and go down all the way around and then up here. And that's essentially how we'll do this. Um, take out your sword, Geralt. We do not want to be slowed by your drunkenness, and I'm aware it's clever and cute, but... Well, not cute, but it's silly. <laughs> it's the wrong word there. But, uh, we, we kind of want to do this at a reasonable time. And not be too slowed. Oh, God, I'm bleeding. You stop that being behind me. Oh, God. I'm Geralt. Geralt, you're drunk. You're still drunk, man. It's really hard to hit things when you're drunk. My combat effectiveness is down the drain. Because there are, act there are actually, like, perks you can get through leveling up that uh, allow you to effectively be a, f a better fighter when you're drunk on off, you know, drunk. As well as the ability to, like, do it while you're in high toxicity. Take your sword back out, Geralt. So that's, that's something to keep track of, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna go over here. We're just gonna highlight that. Makes it easier. Hey, merchants. They're just standing around here. Do you sell things? King Foltes raised customs duties again. Nope. This Brazil. Okay. We're just gonna keep running then. I smell bacon. Hang on a minute. Someone is cooking in my household and there is bacon involved. Damn it. I'm gonna eat after this episode. I will get food after this episode is over. Um, am I, am I in a corner? Where am I? Oh, yeah. I, I did go come with someone in a corner. Bargast! Buddy! Hey, buddy! You're gonna die again. Cool. I'm gonna loot you. And uh, I'm gonna stop by Abigail because I can sell things to her. One would assume. They don't always take everything, but they do have a... Oh my god. Stop putting your damn sword away, Geralt. St I just said stop! God damn it. Okay. It, uh... oh. this, is easy. this is difficult. Alright. Abigail, I am not here to rob you. Oh, it's Elvin. He's here. So we're going to talk to you. What do you want? All right. Uh, I wish to show show me your wares. Um, you take the skulls. Eh, 45 wounds isn't terrible. And she doesn't take much else. I'd have to find an actual regular merchant. She mostly seems like she takes the regular old... Uh, uh, we're going to take this because as soon as I level... It'll be important. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Field plants. It'll be important. Wet myrtle petals. All that stuff is going to be in the outskirts of Vizima. And uh, we kind of want that. Alright. And uh, I wish to talk to you one more time. 
miss you... because I want to rest. I'm going to sit in the corner. And, oh, we leveled. Ah! Wow! We leveled a lot! I have 12 talents! Oh, perfect! Okay, we're going to go intelligence. And we're quickly going to get herbalism. That's what I needed. Oh, and monster lore. Prize knowledge about selected yet unencountered monsters. Yeah, we're going to take that too. Sweet. That's uh, that's important. Intelligence is nice. Uh, knowledge of the cleansing ritual. A lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Knowledge of the life ritual. A lot of rituals. But we're going to get those. Uh, we'll, probably, we'll get a nice chunk of lore from that. All right. Now we need to start working on other things. Um, I did. I did go with dexterity. Uh, we're gonna get a strength talent, and then we're gonna go over here to the steel sword, and we're going to grab all these. I don't have a silver talent yet, so I can't move on. But we're gonna grab those abilities, and the fast talent is probably the one I'm using the most right now. So. Let's see, uh, Hail of Blows, damage plus 20, that'll be nice. And essentially what I like to do when I'm leveling up these is I like to do one of each because you, they do get interchanged pretty often. Works only when Geralt has less than 15, uh, I don't like Berserker stuff. Uh, increased damage, uh, bleeding is nice, and group style, precise hit, uh, being more precise is probably the better choice there. And I still have two talents left to spend, uh, how much stamina, how are we going here? Uh, endurance plus two, that's, yeah, let's, let's go with that. Uh, duration of alcohol intoxication, negative 50%. It, yes, please. It makes it a lot easier when I have to get drunk. All right. And we're only going to meditate like an hour and hope that's still like nighttime because dawn, dawn has an approach. If not, then we just rest till the next night. All right. And in case you haven't noticed, everything's uh, done being uh, all blurry, and we're back to being our normal selves. So we have new journey, new ingredients in our journal, and a lot of stuff. Ghoul blood! Ooh, hang on a minute. Yes, I know about the ghouls now! I can do that quest, too! Ooh. Hee hee hee. Whenever we can get ghoul's blood, we'll definitely now be able to do it. Alright. Oh, hang on. So this is a good way to show off that the, we now have a new ability. So when I use this and increase it, now Geralt does another attack. And he'll do that second attack in loop. There are four stances, four attacks you can get. Continue to go on as you develop that stance. That'll all do different things and different damages. So it's a good idea to get those, but make sure you don't get them immediately as, you know, you want to spend on other talents that are also important. Because now we can dig them out pretty quickly. Also, you can now see that there's white myrtle and celandine everywhere when I do this. I, now that I have herbalism, the plants will show up. And I can actually pick them myself instead of having to buy them. Which is always nice. And celandine provides us with rebus! Celandine, you were, like, really important in developing the swallow potion. And swallow is, in my opinion, the most useful potion there is to know about. And what do you provide? Vitrol and a... I'll, a bredo? A, a beetle? It's one of those. Anyway, uh... There's still there's a lot of flowers. Uh, I'm gonna pick this flower and then take care of the little puppy that wants to kill me. It's right in front of the, the shrine. That I need to use. Uh, there's another bar guest over there. You coming? You gonna come? There you are. Hey, bud. It, it took him a while. He's, he's the slow one of the family. He didn't want to. He didn't want to do anything terrible. He was like, "But I don't want to harm the Geralt." All right, so we're just gonna click that, and we've lit one. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer all of these, and then Salandine. All right, so we're over here. The crypt's over there. We can go to the crypt eventually, but we don't want to rush that just yet. Oh, I, I don't want to go. User marker. Oh. Oh, I can place my own markers. I actually wasn't aware of that. I never right-clicked. I've always done that this stuff because I kind of go to my own landmarks. All right. Actually, I probably could set a bunch of those and, like, put them on important locations. That'll actually be useful. I'll, I'll keep note of that. You've learned something with me today. And that is you can actually be proactive and put things on your map that are important. God, bar guests. Interrupting me. To be fair, they're experienced, and it's nice to get experience early on, so we're going to kill them, plus the, the stuff they get. I know it's maybe repetitive and like, like kind of like grinding, and it is grinding. You grind them out for their, their loot. 
but they at this early this early on you you don't want to leave that alone. Pick the flowers, and you're on the other side of the fence, buddy. I'm gonna come to you this time. We're gonna make each other's lives a little easier. You survived the flirt, the first flurry of blows. You should feel proud. But yeah, both group style now, group style and uh, strong style also have. Hey, ghoul! Hang on. Hey, you there, ghoul? No. Hey, hey! Don't kill him. Uh, hang on. Did he kill the dude? For the king! Stab. And we do a jump attack. And we killed the ghoul. Army life's tough. Thank you. Oh man, he did kill the merchant though. I mean, his orange will go to waste if we don't take him. And uh, ghoul blood. Awesome. I know we have a journal to get some ghoul blood, but uh, that'll pop up when we have enough. All right, at this point, where am I standing? Uh, yeah, we want to go up and to the left here in order to do this uh, properly. Rabbit dog, rabbit dog, barrel. And then there's a, 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 sh and a, a shrine of eternal fire. Tur or an eternal fire shrine. That's what we call these. Let's go ahead and put this up there, and we've lit another fire. Sadly, in case you are not aware, this is not warding off the beasts at all. It's just a little bit of light. This is not enough power for their in their... Oh, hey, there's a royal huntsman over there. Uh, Geralt, go talk to him. I would say I would talk to him, but I am playing as Geralt and not myself. And not my own created character. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for Witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore. Devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Take care. Right. I insulted you. I'm aware of that. Yeah. I mean, Geralt's got a point there. Like, he's not an unintelligent protagonist, which is nice. It's nice to see. And he's got a bit of snark in him, too, I suppose. Snarky, snarky intelligent protagonist. Not always a problem. I know a lot of people go, like, oh, well, if the character's not mute, you know. Like, I, I like with the Zelda series, for example, uh, the, like, some of the best games have mute protagonists. But yeah, some great games also have non-mute protagonists with interesting backstories. And I can play both and enjoy both. Oh, okay, look, that spawned them this time? Reverend, what do you have against me? Well, we're gonna do we're gonna do ballerina dance. Oh, and it spawned another? God damn it. Oh, apparently we killed him this time. And another spawn, hang on a minute. And then there's just, what is that? Is that a, is that a monkey? Is that a chimp? Hang on. Yeah. It's a little chimp. It's just a chimp. It's just dancing around me. It's like, Geralt can do it. Geralt can do it. He can win the fight. He can win the fight. He's my, he's my personal monkey cheerleader. Look at him. Look at him. He's adorable. And he's just running in circles. I don't think he knows what to do with himself. 
Oh, poor dude. I have to leave him too. Like he, he he'll, you'll be fine, buddy. You can eat these bar guests to survive if you eat bar guests, I suppose. And I'm glad they can't be targeted too. So the the, the Witcher dabs are like, you can't kill little critters and don't ask us to. We like critters. You know, we just don't like anything else, and it's nothing else is sacred. Only critters are sacred. I mean, that's fair. Critters, critters could be sacred, I suppose. All right, let's run up to here and uh, take care of other stuff. There's another eternal fire shrine, and then we'll make our way to the lake while it's still night and take care of that monster as well as get some drowner brains. So the rep, so when we turn things into the reverend, we'll have both of his things taken care of. All right. Uh, we're just gonna put this here. All right, we get it. I get it. You guys don't like the eternal fire. I guess it's his false sense of security. Boop, boop. Level gain, sweet. And that's why you fight things. Eventually, once we hit about level 10, I believe we'll start be we'll start gaining silver talents as well as whenever we do certain things. Boop. Such as, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, as well as we do certain things like, uh, brew certain potions and such. Uh, such as the one with the Frightener. There's actually a potion involved with him that allow uh, his, his remains that allows us to make a potion that'll distribute us a silver talent earlier. And I haven't done that because I haven't, A, haven't had any alcohol, and B, I kind of screwed up in getting the herbalism trait quickly. So that was a problem. All right. Let's keep it moving. Uh, did I pass the other Eternal Fire Shrine? Nah, it's right there. Uh, I hear a bar guest. Uh, uh, there's one there too. And I don't want to use group style here because I'll accidentally hit the merchants. And if I hit them, a bounty hunter does come and he's impossible to kill. And you literally can just lose that fight. Like, there is no benefit unless you really want to go on a rampage real quick. Just quick save before you do it. Or just, you know, normal save, I suppose. There is no real quick save option. I gotta be careful. The dude's right behind me. Oh, okay. Nope, he's dead now. Cool. Vargas saved me the trouble of accidentally killing them. And I guess they have remains. I mean, they're not using their orins anymore. Right? That's, that's how this works. Take all this. All these alchemical ingredients, as well as things I can sell quickly. And uh, that'll be that. And the Eternal Fire Shrine is right here. And what do you know? There's going to be a Vargas that spawns, right? Yep, would you look at that? There are the Vargas. What? Huh? What? No. Okay. I guess we're not going to worry about the Vargas then. Oh, well, there's a Vargas. I mean, there were three right there. Like... <laughs> They, they, they appeared and went, nope, bye, Geralt. <laughs> they were like, we're late for practice. We gotta go. They, they just appeared to pose, do a team photo or something. Anyway, let's head down to the lake. Because down here at the lake, there are drowners. And apparently there's going to be a, a, a unique drowner. I don't think I've ever witnessed that quest before. But, uh... Maybe there's a rare mob that I can kill here, and uh, I'll learn that too. Again, I don't usually look up like how to 100% games. I like to do it naturally and come across things from when I because it, it you know it adds more when you're more thorough in a repeat playthrough, and I, I enjoy that. So I do apologize if like the, the research I've done is mostly based all around the uh, lore and based around monsters and certain ways to kill certain important bosses. But in terms of actual side quests, those are being done more on my own of my own free will and not necessarily because I'm aiming to 100% the game I'm, I'm gonna play the game as much as I, f I feel like you know I'm gonna basically do it as if I'm naturally playing the game except I'm doing commentary and sharing with it if you oh whoops ah uh, we're not gonna meditate right now Geralt I, I don't have too much time before day before days back yeah I only have an hour so Essentially, I would like it if more drowners showed up. Are we getting any more drowners? 
Is is it? Do I have to sleep till the next night? Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to sleep till the next night. All right, uh, that's fair. Uh, we'll do that now rather than waiting it for daytime because it's probably the better choice, just to get everything done at night now. I would have preferred to have been better in time, but I think everything kind of slowed me down in terms of being drunk and all the other stuff I did. Plus, I leveled also in Abigail's Hut to get rid of my drunkenness as well as level in general level up. Uh, hero talents, and now let's go ahead and improve on, uh, uh, let's go here, I believe there's deflect arrows, that's very useful, we haven't, we haven't faced any arrows just yet, but, uh, it's something, uh, and unlocks a new full array of moves during fist fights, which isn't great, and, uh, I want to go to strength level 2, as that's damage based. And now while I'm here, let's go ahead and open up my alchemy. Alright, so there's the, the... Do I not have it? Hang on. Garrett, where's your inventory? Inventory is what I want, Geralt. Uh, the Frightener. And now if I go to alchemy... Do I need to stop and, and sit up? Uh, yeah, let, let's do that real quick, because I'm pretty sure if we read about the Frightener, there's a potion involved with him. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I've already read this. Um, journal. Let's go over to my formulas yeah I guess I guess I don't know the potion huh I would have assumed I did uh that's strange oh well no it's not terrible and we're, we're, right now we're, I think we're good on potions so we're gonna we're gonna meditate 18 hours and make our way back to midnight because at midnight there shall be drowners here at the va at the uh at night, anyway. Yep, there they are. There he is, buddy. I see you. And drowners, in case you're not aware, with how with how they are and such, they like to be attacked by the quick style, or at least they don't like it. But it's the most effective style when fighting drowners. And the group style when there's a lot of them, because they're they're pretty easy to hit. All right, I see the reverend and collect my reward. I've completed the drowner contract. I have enough brains from them. That's great. Wonderful, even. All right. Uh, is that, that is that that? I believe that's that. What I need now is Heron Brog's house, which is this one. Can I hop up on here? Good job. Good job, Geralt. Let's go in here and talk to Heron because he. Likes to, uh, well, he, he wants to talk to us, clearly. G -g Greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Haran Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverend sent you, I presume? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? The eternal f, f fire a gift from the Reverend, I presume. Listen, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. N n not here. You want to get both of us in trouble? You're no saint. Afraid of a box? You have so much contraband in stock. Survival instinct. I'd rather lay low. The Reverend detests this game. So you know what it is. I, I, I didn't say that. They're obviously not of human make and stink of de devilry. Best to ask among the. Thanks for that, at least. The eternal f, -f, -f What do you sell? Anything, r really, but in these hard times, I have a rather l l limited selection. Show me. The c c customer's always right. All right, uh, oh, I can't, God, no one wants to take 
I mean, he has a bunch of stuff that we could buy here, and I guess he has some ingredients for making potions and such. And he has some flint, which is... Oh, wow, he has blue meteorite. I am not going to buy that, but that is... Blue meteorite is great for make, improving your sword later on, which is, you know, something we want to do. Uh, definitely don't want to sell anything too important. Uh, the grindstone, how much would you take for the only four that's not worth it? I could just improve my sword. Oh, God, I have so many things I could sell. I have to find a merchant who will take them. All right. Fine, we'll actually help the you now. The Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a witcher. I do. The d -d dead emerge from the river at the n night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me. I'll s spare no exp expense. I'll help in exchange for information about Salamandra and throw in 100 orans for my expenses. I heard you were looking for s Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Where would I find these drowners? W where? At the river's edge. They creep out of the water after dusk. I see. Witcher! Farewell. I mean, as of right now, it's nighttime, so... I'm gonna open your wardrobe, dude. Against non-humans. Oh, of course you have that book in here, don't you? Alright, uh, this book here. Hooray, we read the book. Now we have a journal and glossary about elves, dwarves, and... gnomes. Oh, and then the Scoia Tale. Cool. We'll definitely look into that in the future. Alright. Oh, look. Drowners. Over by the boxes. Let's go ahead and take care of them, because they are such deadly creatures. Yay! Group style gets to be a ballerina! Hang on, is that Donner bigger? No, he's just regular. I guess, whatever. <laughs> he looked bigger from the angle I was looking at him. You guys are too far behind me. There we go. There we go. Look at that. You guys got killed quickly. I appreciate that. I'm just going to take the ingredients you have here. Oh, you got Orins on you. You killed a human, didn't you? You know, I'm actually not too broken up about that. All right, there's got to be more more drowners that are that'll appear here. I heard I heard water. Where is he? There he is. Hey, bud. Boop. Stab! Instant kill. Oh, and another drowner. Hey, buddy. Come on, get on land. Let's just knock him over and take care of him quickly. Stab! And that's instant kill. Stunning any enemies pretty much leads to instant kill attacks, which is great. I guess I don't have to warn you. I don't have to let you know that that doesn't work on bosses, stunning them and killing them instantly. Is that all the drowners? I mean, there's a plant over here. We're just gonna take that plant. Ah. Uh, all right. I guess that's all of them. No, no, it's not. All right, all right. I'm here. All right, Geralt, get on the same plane as him. Stab him. Boop. Oh, hey, bud. I did not see you coming. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of stuff. I actually have to kill him normally. Look at that. Strangers in the night. Sweet. Oh, hang on. There's actual strangers in the night. Kedmil Havkaran. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Nendwan Esavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some hawkers' specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vat tell Nain. You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Herons. Sorry, Ensaid, but I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vat Gern. We're part of a 20 elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach Vizima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. 
Good. We have no choice. But you do. So already, the choices continue! Yes, this is a thing I actually have to take. Oh. So we could just take the goods. He could be lying to us. Or we could say, sorry, I'm working for Harren. You have to find your good. Your hawker specialty is everywhere. Not to mention the fact that he... Uh, like, not only he, he could that, but this could also not be uh, medicine or food. And it could just be weapons. Then... Or it could be all that stuff. And we're helping. Um... Look, I'm working for Haran. He's paying me. I'm I'm on the job there. I'm gonna mention this one. Sorry, I'm working for Haran. You'll have to find your hawker's specialties elsewhere. Willing to die for that greedy Dwan? You're not one of them. Doesn't matter. Don't touch those crates. We'll slay you and then Haran. Has a lesson to all traitors. Spalle! Oh. You shall die, All right, human. then. So it looks like we're fighting the Scoyotel early, aren't we? So, yes, the Scoyotel, most of them are, rely on the quick style. Oh, okay, he's a dwarf. So dwarves take the strong style. I know they're, they're short, but they're armored and can't dodge us as easily. All right, and now there's an archer over here. We need to take care of. I can't say I'm too pleased with the idea that I have to kill the Scoyotel. I'd rather not get involved in all this, but... I have a job to do, and, well, we need to do that job. Regardless of what they say, I mean, I was not told of this. They're telling me one thing. They can tell me what they want to tell me. So, though he did mention he had a special client, actually. That's a thing we should probably also remember. <sighs> All right, well, let's take what they have here. What is this? Oh, yeah, they, had, they have some ingredients on them. Well, we killed elves. I mean, now they'll hate us forever. I guarantee it. I mean, they like most of them weren't actually here, so they have no idea what I've done. But they'll know. They'll have, they'll say they have scouts somewhere around here. Wasn't there a dwarf I also killed? Yeah, there he is. He's by the boat. Unless that's a drowner. That's probably a drowner, actually. Ah, uh, oh well. Oh, there we go. Drowner brain tissue, and there's the other drowner. All right, let's go talk to Heron and let him know that. There were indeed drowners, but also Scoyotel. Because they're because Scoyotel. Oop. Into his house. And it saves because you made your choice. There's no going back, Geralt. And yes, there won't be any going back, even when I make mistakes. Witcher! I killed the drowners and encountered elves. Uh, uh, elves? I don't believe I know any uh, elves. They were expecting you. Who are they? Scoyotel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who d deal with them are hanged. But betray me and you'll hang too. I'll keep quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We had a disagreement. They're dead. You c killed them? Huh. Their friends are likely to return for the g goods When they arrive, we can blame it on the d drowners. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. Here's your g gold. S Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat. Set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the reverend. He'll decide what you should know. But I wouldn't mind them gone. My friend seeks a dwarf. Hoog. A Scoyotel. I'll ask around. M maybe I'll learn something. Alright, I succeeded in earning Heron's trust. Alright, I should see uh, Mikkels, the last guy I have to talk to, and you can guarantee where he's going to send us. Uh, you. Witcher! Um... My friend seeks a dwarf. I'll ask her out. I guess he's not going to tell us anything else. I do apologize if you hear the, uh, the beeping in my speakers. They're getting old at this point. And I do need to change that. Though my entire computer... I, 
once once things are no longer in a problem, I will upgrade my PC and everything about it. All right, let's kill the drowner here. And I would say in the next episode of The Witcher Enhanced Edition, we're gonna go see Mikkel. Oh, maybe look around and see if we can find our friend Hoog. Even though it was never mentioned to us that his name was Hoog. Though we knew we knew he was Skoyat, so. And uh, once that is done, I suppose we'll go see the Reverend and ask him about all this stuff. And why does the Reverend know about Salamandra when he sent us everywhere else first? <sighs> this is fishy. I don't like what I'm seeing here. I'm an IVF Chaotic Reunion, and I'll see you all in the next one.